we're doing six art challenges with the character Stitch from Disney's Lilo and Stitch. And I'm not great at drawing Stitch, so it's going to be a wild ride. <laughs> That's right, we are drawing Stitch from Memory to get started with here, and I gotta be honest, this is my best Stitch from Memory. I've done a few of them over the last few years, just in various challenges, and this one turns out the best, which says a lot because it definitely does not end up as Twitch. It's a delightful disaster, or Stitch, excuse me. Uh, it's a delightful disaster um, that is almost, but not quite, definitely not the character I was trying to draw. Oh well, beautiful disasters are kind of my thing. Speaking of which, my name is Patrick, I'm an artist, and I like drawing fun pictures on the internet, even if I'm not good at it sometimes, and this is no exception. Uh, if you enjoy that kind of thing and enjoy just being positive about creating and having fun, then this is a great place to hang out. There's lots of fun videos, lots of interesting challenges. If you have ideas and other things, let me know. Like and subscribe and do all that stuff so that uh, uh, the big YouTube in the sky will know that I am here. Uh, anyways, we're getting our stitch in here. This is the point in the drawing where I'm like, does Stitch have teeth? I don't remember if Stitch has teeth. And I said, yes, Stitch has teeth. And you know what? I think Stitch might have teeth. I don't remember anymore. Uh, it's been a while since I've drawn this, and now I just don't know anymore. So we're trying to get our stitch in here really well, get that body shape. This is where things start to really fall apart. Like, my base stitch head is okay, especially once we get this nose in there. Um, but I can't remember what the body looks like for the life of me, and and I don't get it right. Uh, we turn him into a little greebly goblin kind of thing, and nope, that's not right. Uh, I cheat out a bit and just use Bigfoot to cover up the bottom of the body so that he's at least closer to a thing. Uh, we'll get some line art on here and get going with our lovely, lovely uh, stitch light. <laughs> I enjoy the movie Lilo and Stitch. I've only seen it a few times. I haven't watched it recently. It's just one of those ones that like lives in the back of my memory fondly, but never ends up on the front of my list for some reason. And I know that's probably a crime to some of you because it's a much loved film, to be sure. Ohana means family, you know? So here we are trying our best to uh, honor that legacy. And uh, yeah, we'll get the last of our line art on here and drop in some colors and we'll see our From Memory Stitch. definitely wasn't Stitch and the trend is going to continue for a while because now we're into opposite hand. I haven't had a chance to look at Stitch still so we're basing it off of the original drawing I drew uh, and we're pushing this disaster further and further down the road so uh, we're getting in those teeth because we thought for sure he has teeth. Uh, it has teeth. I don't think Stitch is gendered. Is Stitch gendered? Probably not. It doesn't really matter. Gender is a construct. Um, and yeah, we're using my opposite hand here. So we're using my right hand, I'm left-handed. And um, yeah, things get a lot looser, a lot less uh, concrete. Uh, there's a lack of strength in my right hand when it comes to drawing, uh, as you can see with this tiny, weird hand that I've decided is the right hand for this drawing and continue to move on. I think that's our stitch. Fold the blinds, it's time for the blindfold challenge. That means we're drawing Stitch with my eyes closed and I cannot see what I'm doing, which means that there's lots of floaty pieces that are just gonna be out and about there, like those teeth. He's got the teeth of a, a young, toothless character. Not Toothless the Dragon, but I don't know. This one goes off the rails and off the page to the extreme and um, We'll get it back in for the final reveal. Uh, I'm completely lost at this point. No idea where I'm supposed to be. That's an arm going over your shoulder. Another arm, that one lands almost where it's supposed to, and then you realize, oh no, he's building, that's the bottom of the arm, not the top. But hey, I think that stitch with my eyes closed. Oof. And next we got the one minute challenge. Our goal here, of course, is to try to get the image done in one minute. It means that we don't have time for detail. We just have to keep moving. And you know what? Based on my original drawing, it's not so bad. Based on the original stitch, it's terrible. But, you know, c'est la vie. When in art Rome, 
do as the art Romists do. Romans do. And hey, it's not so bad. It's got the body and the shape and the idea of Stitch as I understood them to be at that point. And we'll get somewhere before the end. Don't forget we end this challenge with a front reference, which means that we'll see a nice picture of Stitch before things are done. I know how to draw, it's okay. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was so sensitive to, to this? No, I'm well desensitized to the idea that my from memory and beyond challenges are always gonna be a bit of a disaster. But what are we here for, if not at least to be a beautiful disaster? Speaking of which, we're done our one minute. Our second last challenge coming in here. This is Stitch drawn with my finger. I use an iPad, which means I have a lovely pen that does all the detail work for me. But in this challenge, I throw that pen away and get my finger, my fat, chunky finger out and try my best to draw. I use a different uh, ink pen uh, setting on my iPad because it's a little bit more functional for this challenge. And I do like how it looks and it makes it possible to get something that's at least recognizable, at least close to being sort of maybe on the right direction path. Who knows? And so, yeah, we're getting stitched together. Coming out. Um, what's the last Disney movie that you saw? And would you recommend it? I'm trying to think. I think I might have watched Cinderella recently. I watched Brave. I guess that's a Pixar, but she's from the other studio. Uh, I hadn't seen Brave before. It's a very fun movie. Uh, I knew a bit of the story, but I didn't really know the whole story, and so it was fun to watch. Uh, if you could do a bear thing, would you? That's uh, brave in a nutshell. There we go. Stitch. And finally, we can arrive at the standard with reference challenge this means that i'm drawing stitch proper and regretting many of my earlier decisions you can see here stitch does in fact have teeth but they are a lot more pointy together teeth a lot less uh falling apart gapped teeth as mine were and um, yeah stitch has a lot more shapes to their true design i really like the way that uh stitch is put together it's got a very uh, endearing body for being essentially what's a monster by, you know, that sort of technical sense. I really do love um, how they come together. I love the style of their ears, how they fold. And I always want to try to get that when I'm drawing from memory, but I just can't quite remember uh, what's going on. I'm using sort of a classic sitting pose, which is sort of what I was going for with my from memory one, but obviously very different uh, yeah are there other characters you'd love to see me try to do this challenge on or are there other art challenges that I should be doing I would love to hear your suggestions I am a small creator trying to grow my channel and your participation in it as a watcher as a doer as a commenter as a liker as a whatever really makes a big difference so I want to say thank you for doing that I used to want to be an animator for Disney when I was younger, and so I drew a lot of Disney characters. But Stitch came out, Little Stitch came out after that period in my life, or at least didn't raise to my level of awareness at that time. And so I never really drew much of these characters. And yet they are so well designed. There is a simplicity in the shapes that make up Stitch that really pull the character together in fascinating ways. Uh, they give him a lot of charm without necessarily a lot of detail. And that's a very sophisticated thing to do, right? Like to create a character and give them that characterization through a very limited set of ideas and lines and shapes. Fantastic. Here's Stitch. And that's going to be it for our video today. Here are our six stitches, all perfectly normal. What's the difference between each of these pictures? There is no difference. They're all 100% stitch. Oof. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Like I said before, I'm a small creator and your presence here means the world to me. It's also super helpful when you feed the algorithm and let them know that I'm a good algorithm beast. 
by liking and subscribing and all that jazz, or share this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. For now, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for being here. Until next time, keep being awesome. Bye!